Welcome to another episode of Federal Prison Time with RDAP Dan. Alright, that was pretty cheesy. So, uh, it's Sunday, it's a nice, beautiful freaking day outside, and I'm at work, so I'm not stuck in the halfway house. So I'm pretty excited, amped up, drank a lot of drink a lot of my RDAP coffee. This one's empty, I just wanted to hold it for the video. Um, but today I thought a different topic might be a little bit needed. Um, I'm getting a lot of emails that people need a lot of help out there, a lot of questions. Uh, questions about before going to prison, some questions they have about once they're in prison, and questions they have about once they get out of prison. Federal halfway house questions and just probation questions, which I can't answer yet, I haven't started my probation. Um, got till about September, October for that. But the concerning thing to me is, is I know a lot of you guys need a lot of help, or at least you're looking for a lot of help because you're terrified. For those of you that haven't gone to prison yet, that are still going through the process. Um, you know, I'm limited on to what I can do, obviously, because my hands are tied. I'm, I'm, what I mean by that is I'm still in the federal halfway house. So I don't have a whole lot of freedom or a whole lot of time to do the necessary research being I do have a regular job that I have to put some time into. So with that said, I thought about it and you guys know that um, I think a lot of information that you guys need can be given to you for free. A lot of it's basic stuff that I can I can answer no problem. And, I, and obviously I love doing this because that's why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for any other reason. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, become famous on YouTube, but I do like the comments, the feedback, and I see there's such a need for it, and you guys are so appreciative and showing me so much love with all the emails you're sending me that uh, I felt maybe it was important for me to find some services that would make sense for you guys, especially before you go into prison. Um, prison consultants, there's a lot of con men out there, and it's, it's scary on how nasty these dudes are because they attack you based on your fear and you're not knowing of anything. And they exploit that. And what that equals to is, you know, you opening up your wallet or your pocketbook and writing a check or giving a credit card number and not really getting a whole lot for it. And by the time you realize you were ripped off or scammed, you might be turning yourself in for, uh, you know, anywhere from 24 months to a 10 year prison bid. And by the time you get out, you're just like, whatever, it's money lost. So what I have, the luxury of doing is um, I've been into prison and I've spoken to a lot of prison consultants since I've been out of prison. Uh, a lot of them have seen my videos and have reached out to me uh, and some good, some bad, um, most of them bad. However, I do have uh, a prison consultant that is definitely on the up and up and he would be able to help the people that need that extra help and he's also honest enough that he would be willing to tell you, hey, it's not worth taking your money because what you need, either I can't help you with, or it's real basic and I can give you, you know, five minutes of my time and you can move on and, and feel relaxed and feel comfort from that. Um, so on June 1st, I'm gonna be posting a video that is gonna be dedicated to services for you guys that is gonna be prior, uh, before you go to prison, services you can take advantage of while you're in prison and some services that you can take advantage of when you get out of prison. Um, so prior going to prison, I would say the biggest one is gonna be uh, preparing yourself, having access to information that is needed, whether it be a prison consultant or just information in general. So we're gonna show you how you can take some information with you to prison on how you can save money on phone calls, calling your loved ones, because an average phone call from the BOP um, to your loved one for 15 minutes is going to averagely cost you about three dollars and change and that racks up real fast especially if you're calling different people so there's a couple different services out there that will provide you with some local phone numbers that you can use so you'll call a local number and it will forward to a loved one um, and it will save you a tremendous amount of money and again there's a lot of scam companies out there promoting that service that either they don't work the number's broken they've taken your money can't get it back, you're chasing them. So I was fortunate enough to try a few different ones while I was in there and found the ones that work. So I'll be putting that information in there for you. Also pictures. Um, I had a family member that takes a lot of pictures 
and they're not super computer savvy, but you know they've got your standard smartphone, and they're able to take pictures on the smartphone, but they didn't know how to, either didn't know how or didn't have the time to go down to, because it's not like they can email you a picture, they've got to go actually print it out and mail it to you, so that can be frustrating, or they gotta wait for somebody to do a form. So I found some really cool services out there that right from your cell phone, you can text the picture to a service and that service mails the picture to you um, for about what it would cost for them to go do it anyway on their own. So it's, it's really neat, uh, we can take care of that for you. Also, in prison, you're gonna hear the term inmate.com. What that references to is a lot of gossip. Um, all these inmates, claim to know what's happening. Oh, this law is coming out, it's gonna reduce our time by this, or they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, all these great things that you can't verify, or horrible sounding things that you can't verify, unless you're able to call home constantly and get somebody to look it up for you, and you're gonna find out real quick that the average family member is gonna continue to live their life, and their life doesn't stop and when you need something, it doesn't mean they're gonna drop what they do or drop what they're doing to help you. So you're gonna to have to realize that time is gonna move slower for you in there because on the outside, time for the regular person is flying by. So don't take that personal. However, there's some really neat services as well. Most of these services are free, by the way. Um, there's some really neat services where these companies will send you inmate-related news, uh, newsletters right through your core links, your email account you have in federal prison. So two to three times a week, you're gonna get updated information on any new laws, any new uh, laws that are gonna be going into effect, any new laws that are gonna be going up to maybe try to get passed in the next few months, the next couple of years, stuff that could affect you, but at the same time, it's gonna give you peace of mind of knowing what's really going on, and you're not just listening to some crazy hype that's got your mind spun. Um, so yeah, so that's the kind of stuff that I think is going to be important for, uh, that's what I would have found important for me, and, and I couldn't find that information until I was already there and had spent several months beating my head against the wall wondering what was going on. So I hope you guys can look forward to this video on June 1st, uh, exactly 30 days from today. If you have some questions or some services that you're interested in, um, I'm also going to provide you with some really cool magazine services to where you can get some really nice magazines that are used to dealing with Federal Bureau uh, programs. So it's not going to be hard to get your magazines, they know what you're going for, they're usually discounted, and it's got a wide variety of books, some really good books that you can read in prison that are real popular in prison, and just some good prison etiquette. So look forward for the video June 1st, I'm going to spend some time putting it together for you. Um, like my videos, share my videos, and I'm begging you guys, subscribe to my videos because the bigger this gets, it makes me feel good, but also it, it grows the community. And whatever information I can share with you guys, or what information you guys can share with me, thousands of other people are gonna benefit from it. And if our focus stays on that, if our focus stays on people helping people, community as method, then you and I can make a little bit of difference in somebody else's uh, situation. RDAP Dan, federalprisontime.com.